Hello, thank you for having me. What I wanna to talk to today is about fear and its little brother, worry. So a little bit about me, I've been almost 25 years now studying the reality of the afterlife. And one thing I know for sure is that we don't die. But with that comes a very difficult task being a human being. I like to imagine that we all came to this earth, we all chose to be here, and our job while being here is to experience different emotions, it is to experience failure, it's to experience love, forgiveness, and a multitude of other things. And part of the deal we make with the universe when we come here is that we forget who we really are. And that's immortal souls having a human experience. So when we come here, we're also given something that I like to call the voice. It is most often a voice of uh, negativity. It's our inner critic. It reminds us what we've done wrong, how not good enough we are or not smart enough. And in this voice comes the voice of worry and it comes the voice of fear. I do think fear is a good thing for some purposes. You know, we don't want to step into a fire or we want to have fear and not jump over a cliff. So fear has its purpose, but I think in this whole game of being human, we might have had something faulty going on with the mind and how it works. Fear, while I think originally designed for a good thing to keep our bodies safe, has turned into something that this inner voice wants us to keep it safe or our mind safe. So it has us not take action in things we are afraid of doing. Sometimes it prevents us from telling the people we love in our life that we love them. It has us worry about the future. What I have come to find out through my own life and doing a lot of research on what it is to be human, I found that the mind gets very busy on thinking about the future and thinking about the past. I also know things like if we are feeling guilt or worry or grief, the more we think about the same thing, the more the neural pathways are generated, that the more of it we'll, we'll experience in the future. You know, we hear very often that all it takes to change a habit is 28 days of doing the same thing. Well, I don't believe that's true after a lot of habits I've tried to change. But what goes against us is the more times that we think the same thoughts, the more times it will be given. So don't know how old you are, I'm 54, and I've had a lifetime of worry and fear. And the more time I think about it, or if something new happens, it actually can reignite the flame. Many of us are joined here because we've experienced grief from the loss of a loved one. I had a friend pass away yesterday, and what I found, and I found this before, is anytime grief hits close, it reignites the flame of all the grief that I've felt in the past. So the last 24 hours have been a sad time and it's taken me some time to think about it and think about what's going on and how automatic these thoughts can be. So fear and worry can be very automatic as well. When we think of fear, there are three ultimate fears that all human beings face. It's the fear of failure, it's the fear of being alone, and it's the fear of dying. So we, we'll tackle the last one first because we don't die. We are gathered here today in a group that wholeheartedly believes that, knows that. There is no ultimate demise to us. Yes, our bodies will disappear, but we will not. Our personalities go on. Those of us that love to live, love to laugh, love to explore, we continue. We don't die. There is no such thing as failure. The very best experiments and things produced and inventions all came because people failed 
Edison failed over a thousand times to create the light bulb, but thank goodness he never stopped. So failure, not an option, doesn't exist. I mean, it does exist, sort of, but it, it, it's just a pathway to having our dreams fulfilled and having things happen. And the fear of being alone, well, we're never alone. We may feel it. The mind wants to convince us that we are all alone, but we are surrounded by loved ones, guides, spirit people, so much love in this unseen world cheering us along as we are running the marathon called life. And there's stumbles to be had, of course. There's hurdles to go over. It's a very, very tough ride. So we are living in a time now where we have a lot of worry and we have a lot of fear. Our earth is uncertain. I don't know about you, but personally, I've lost my business due to COVID-19, my main catering business, and have created something new, doing online courses and events. I didn't see that coming, but I had to in order to survive. Fear has definitely been along the journey. Don't know how things are going to work out. We don't know what the future is going to hold. Many of us have had loved ones that have succumbed to the illness or another illness. We've had jobs put on hold. We've had to live life differently. Many have had to live life alone and haven't been able to see their loved ones. So fear and worry are there. Now, fear and worry are part of this mind because I can tell you one thing I know for sure is that we are going to get through this. How do I know for sure? Because think about your life and think about some of the toughest things that have happened. Have you made it through? The answer is yes. We might not have liked it, but we have made it through. We my friend, you and I can make it through anything that crosses our paths. And I know this because we already have. That mind of ours will want to think about it and worry about it and dread things and fear things. And fear and worry are awful, awful feelings. So I want to give us all something to get us back on track. The first thing is I want to help add a little power back into your life because when fear strikes and worry strikes I learned something the hard way when we can take action and do that thing we are afraid of doing in that moment fear disappears so when we take action fear is no longer there the fear is only there just prior to but if we have a phone call we've been dreading to make or an apology we've been dreading to give but no we should just the sheer act of picking up the phone and dialing the phone number and once that other person gets on the line fear is gone fear doesn't exist in the present moment when we are in action integrity is an important piece of this puzzle and integrity, I mean, by doing the things you know to do, by cleaning up if you didn't do something, having that conversation with somebody, being true to yourself. How many of us are living with things undone, things that we've had on our to-do list for quite some time and we haven't even begun them? Or we consider, are we going to do them? Now, this is not the time before you start any big project to look at a list and have to check off all the boxes before you make a phone call. It's not. But take your computer, take a piece of paper, and write down a list of things that are either left undone, unsaid, things that you've put off that you want to do, all those things that have been taking up precious time in your mind that you have been worrying about. Write them all down. And some of them, you can be honest with yourself and cross off the list. You know, I've signed up for courses that I'm never going to take. I've paid the money. I've crossed them off the list, forgiven myself, and moved forward. Once we have those lists of integrity outs, I like to call them, you start feeling like, oh, some, 
Something's lifted off your mind. From there, let's think about it. So we know those things that we worry about in that state of action, the fear and worry disappears. Well, what's next? Well, trust. One, like I said before, you have made it this far. You can handle anything. You are more powerful than you know yourself to be. You are a soul having a human experience. You have come here to learn and you are getting growth for your soul. I think if we want to learn courage in this lifetime, we are not given it, but we are given opportunities to be courageous. If we want to experience love, it doesn't just come. We are given experiences where we get to love. So remember who you are. Take it the bigger picture, your soul having a human experience. You don't have to listen to your mind. You don't. If the mind gets too carried away in this state of being frantic and fearful and worrisome, you can turn the page on your integ integrity list and you can make a list of things you're grateful for. Great gratitude adds power to us. It really does. It adds wind to our sails. Thinking about what we really are grateful for, and the key is we actually have to feel it to engage the power of gratitude, but we start to feel it. We have friends. We do not have to be alone in our own mind. We have friends we can turn to. We have friends in the invisible world we can turn to. I know we all know the power of quieting our mind, be it through meditation, sitting in the power, focusing on your own breathing, going out for a walk and being in the present moment. I know for myself, like a mobile phone, if I don't plug it in, it doesn't work. If I don't spend that time recharging my spiritual battery, I'm no good. So take the time to quiet your mind. Do your best to eat right, exercise, get out in nature. All these things give us power. We have also, I forgot where I was going, if we are alone, and we have books to read, we have audio books to listen to, and one of the ones I recommend is Dar Dale Carnegie wrote a book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. It doesn't cost but just a few dollars, and believe it or not, I'm going through a very tough time right now of stress and worry in my life, and every walk I take, I listen to it. So it doesn't have to be that book, but that one is filled with a zillion short stories of how people overcame worry and fear by just doing a few small things. One of them was just taking the day in day tight compartments. We can't look too far ahead of the future and it's not doesn't do us any good to look into the past. But what can we do today? When we are in action, like I said, that fear and that worry disappear. So if you can channel that energy into doing something, taking action, maybe taking action on something in that integrity list, and all of that really gives power to who we are. I can't tell you enough, you can handle anything. We have gotten through life this far. Remember who you are. You are a powerful soul having a human experience. It is possible that we all signed up to have life just the way it is for what we get to experience. I do believe the best thing we can do as human beings is to make a difference for another person. So if you really get caught up in worry and fear, look to see where you can make a difference in someone else's life. Zig Ziglar said, the way to have your dreams come true is to help another person have their dreams come true. So the magic happens when we make a difference for another person. We signed up for this. This is what we've got. We've got a lot on our plate that we need to deal with. Remember, you are not alone. Remember, you can never die. This life is an illusion. It's a real good one but it is an illusion. We are powerful souls having a human experience. There will be a day, my friend, that you and I take that final breath here on planet Earth. And it is my prayer for all of us that when we do, 
we are able to look back on this life and look at our successes. And it doesn't mean the things we've achieved or attained. It means how we have been, how we have survived, how we have thrived, how we have uh, made things happen and helped another person. There are many ways to call yourself a success. And like I said, it doesn't mean physical things that you've attained. So when we take that last breath and we look back on our life, we can look back and say, I played full out on my life. I made a difference. I've learned a lot. I forgive myself for those things that nah, maybe I could have done a little differently. But we close our eyes that last time here on earth. We simply open them. And like in that marathon, we are crossing the finish line. And our soul will be greeted by our loved ones, even our pets. And imagine that right now for yourself, breaking through the finish line, arms in the air, everybody cheering, and you really get that you are a soul, that life was an illusion, that you're grateful for this path that you have been on. Because the harder it is, the more growth for the soul. So with that, I want to thank you and thank you for having me here today.